Hey guys, it's Numistaka here, and uh, I've got a special video for you today. Seems to have been quite a few special videos recently, and I, actually I was in two minds as to whether to make this video. But um, you've seen this coin if you've watched the uh, video on the quintuple sovereign. But it is really a very, very special coin, and it's the first quintuple sovereign that I have owned myself. And uh, so I thought it actually deserved a video um, all by itself. So uh, if you've had enough of the Quintuple Sovereign, then fast forward or go and watch somebody else's video. But um, if, like me, you think this is truly one of the most beautiful coins uh, ever made, great size, then uh, carry on and see just what this coin is all about. Um, there's been a lot of videos showing this 2017 version of the 1817 Sovereign. Uh, I guess probably a lot of you guys never thought the, the 1818 was actually, or the 1817 was actually immensely special, but it was the first modern Sovereign, and there is something special about it. And uh, I've actually got an 1817 coin on eBay uh, ending in a couple of hours and it's been really interesting looking at how much um, people have uh, kind of been watching that particular coin you know certainly there is something about this uh, Pistruchi Sovereign St George and the Garter pattern that uh, people like maybe it appeals to uh, nostalgia but you know it's beyond the uh, or it was earlier than the uh, the lifespans that people remember. So it's kind of nostalgic, but it's not nostalgic within people's lifetimes. You know, we're talking George the Third. <laughs> you know, the the Mad King, the madness of King George. It's a long, long time ago, and uh, and yet, you know, maybe that's why people like the the historical aspect of it. Or maybe people just think it's a really cool design. I don't know. But I wanted to give you guys a chance to take a look at the brilliant uncirculated um, five sovereign piece. Um, brilliant uncirculated. It does have a frosting. It does look a bit like a proof. And you can see when you hold it up to the light, you know, there is certainly a cameo about it. Um, on the queen side, the cameo is very, very, very slight, if not nothing you know you can it's probably more mostly nothing depending on what light you hold it up to uh, which is as it as was expected for a bu coin they're not trying to remake a proof coin they made the proof it was in the five coin set um, and it's a great coin this is not a proof although it does have the mirrored background and uh, i'll put some video up later on at the end of this just showing the proof with the BU so you can more clearly see the difference between the two. Um, but it is a, a pretty great coin. Um, the five sovereign piece, you know, you can pick up a five sovereign piece for about probably £1,300 or so. This was about um, close to £1,900 from the Royal Mint. Um, a thousand of these were minted and I suspect that these things will change hands for a little bit more than that, uh, or they may come off a little bit, but uh, it may be worth waiting to pick one up. It's not very easy to know yet what the market is going to do with these things. Um, but there are a thousand of them, and it did sell out within about a day, a day and a half, something like that, all thousand. Uh, I don't know whether they were all sold to individuals, um, or whether some of them were sold to one of the big uh, coin dealers in the states, and maybe there's going to be a version that it that is, uh, you know, by NGC in a slab at some stage. Mine has already uh, been packaged up to send off to NGC. I'm putting it in an NGC slab, and uh, it's going to have the first releases designation, which is an extra ten dollars. But it seemed mean not to spend the ten dollars when you've already spent nineteen hundred pounds on a coin and it's going to be in a nice pretty slab with the Houses of Parliament and the special Great Britain uh, label. So tell me what you guys think. Hopefully you like this coin and uh, please like, subscribe and comment.